What's good, planet Earth? Welcome back to the channel. My name's Charlie and thank you for being here. Today we are getting into a little bit of commentary on some current affairs. Now this is Sky's Mark Austin challenging one of the Just Stop Oil activists. Now I have my own views on Just Stop Oil and they will no doubt become apparent throughout the video. But I'm just, I just, I just don't think that what they're doing is going to have the desired outcome. I just, I don't really get it. But let's give them a chance to speak. Let's see what they've got to say. And, and see how this goes. Something a little bit different for the channel. Hope you guys like it. Let's get into it. Without further ado, let's go. We're joined now by Indigo Rumbelo from Just Stop Oil. Thanks for uh, coming in. What do you think you're achieving with these um, incredibly right. disruptive and also dangerous protests? Hello. Um I'm sure you'll agree we're in an incredibly grave situation with the climate crisis. So Just Stop Oil has one simple demand, and that is that the UK government put an end to licensing new oil and gas in the UK. But, 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 but I'm interested to know about these tactics. What evidence right. do you have that blocking the busiest motorway in the UK, causing endless disruption for tens of thousands of people, is actually achieving anything? Right. OK, so there we have it. She's already said that the people that she is trying to reach this message with is the UK government. So surely if you're trying to protest something, you need like, like you go on strike. If you want a pay rise, you know, the union workers will go on strike to inconvenience their employer into making them realise that they have the power to, to do something to inconvenience you. Like if you don't act right we are going to take the power that we do have and inconvenience you and your operation but how is this doing that that's what i don't understand is like what you're doing is inco inconveniencing the general population how is that in any way reaching the government i i don't get that we need everybody to come to join us so we don't have to cause this type of disruption on, on the motorways. We need to be sat outside Parliament with tens and tens of thousands of people demanding an end to, to new oil and gas. Right, so if you want to do that, if you're looking to recruit tens of thousands of people to sit in front of Parliament with you, when was the last time that you recruited anyone to a cause or got anyone on board with anything by inconveniencing them and pissing them off? that's the bit I don't get. You need people, like, I get it, I get the message, but you need people to be on board with you. So when was the last time that that tactic worked? You bullied someone and pissed them off into what? Listening to you and, and sympathising with your cause and, and coming on board with you? Show me one area where the recruitment works like that. Show me one instance of recruitment working in that way. I I don't get it. I, d I don't get it. Disruption on, on the motorways. We need to be sat outside Parliament with tens and tens of thousands of people demanding an end to, to new oil and gas. Yes, but you don't need to resort to this kind of disruptive behaviour because what it seems to me what people are talking about, Indigo, are your methods and not your message. So your message is being completely lost because mm. of the methods that you are using, which, is in, which are infuriating people and disrupting life for mm. so many people. So the climate crisis is disrupting people around the world, around the world right now, and even the here question. in the UK. This summer we saw the effects of the climate crisis with the UK getting 40 degrees heat and birds falling out of the sky and pensioners dying before they should. The this is sky? just the beginning and the climate crisis is going to get worse and worse and worse unless we but, act. But we know and, but we and know, we know we cover that. that. We cover that on the news. We know all that. Yeah, right. We know that. So that wasn't the question. These tactics, the message you have, the message that you want to get across, get completely lost. I mean, your message is certainly lost on the woman who didn't get to hospital for her stroke right. treatment. Your message is certainly lost on the patient who didn't get to hospital for her cancer treatment uh, appointment. And your message is also certainly lost on Tony Bambury, the man who missed his father's funeral. So 
I guess my question is, what is the point of doing it like this? Mm. So it's very clear that the disruption will end as soon as the government issued this statement to stop new oil and gas. But we that doesn't make any sense. So, OK, so what she's saying is that she needs the government to listen. But she's saying in order to get the government to listen, we need tens of thousands of people to go to Parliament and protest. And so what is is the inconvenience? Like, it doesn't make any sense. Like, this, this is all getting completely lost. What are you blocking these motorways to do? To inconvenience the government or to recruit people? Because it's not doing either of those things. You're just pissing people off and the government don't give a shit. Well, they're like, oh, there's some wackos sitting on the motorway. They don't care. Why do they care? It's not doing anything. So this is the problem, guys. I, I just don't understand what this is achieving. It's not achieving anything because it's not doing either of the things that she herself has said that the movement is trying to do, which is recruit tens of thousands of people and get the attention of Parliament. Of doing it like this. Mm. So it's very clear that the disruption will end as soon as the government issued this statement to stop new oil and gas. But we will have to continue because at the moment, I just do not know what else we're going to do. Do you have any other you know, ideas of how you know. we could get but, our government not for me to, to issue ideas. a statement to end new but, oil and gas? Because this isn't an issue of just no, green but, policy or just the climate protesters. It's an issue that's going to impact you. It's going to impact me. It's going to impact your children. Of course it is. Of course if it you is. have and children. And We're it's talking about impacting Stop people around on. the world. About the so taxes. our government's decision yeah. to go ahead with new oil and gas with the full knowledge that this will kill millions of people is a complete yes, act of betrayal talking, on my but generation. But we're talking about here, now, the tactics that you are using. I mean, listen to what Tony Banbury said. These people have forced me not to go to my father's funeral. And it's not like I get a second chance. I will never forget what they have done, and I will never forgive what they have done. So my point, again, to you, is that the way you are going about this means that people are not listening to the message they are just talking about the method and they don't like the method. Right. It's a very serious situation. But we know that. <laughs> well, I'm talking about the tactics you are using. Listen to the police. Do you know what? Like, I, this can't be the best that they've got to put on Sky News. She can't be the best that they've got. And do you know what? The conspiracy theorist in me does wonder. I'm like, there's, there's no way that they're that people are this incompetent when it comes to debating this issue. They must have put someone this stupid on. Seriously. Like, I see her passion. I get it. That's great. But she's not equipped to have this debate at all. But the conspiracy theorist in me does wonder, I'm like, is this a broader ploy to condition us to hate protesters? So that later on when something much more obvious and a huge overstepping of our human rights, a huge overstepping of our, you know, uh, right to privacy and things like that happens and people protest it. We've been conditioned through these idiots to hate protesters. But that's just the conspiracy theorist in me. Let me know what you think. <laughs> and they don't like the method. It's a very serious situation. But we know that. Well, I'm talking about the tactics you are using. Listen to the police officer. Chief Constable of Essex, he says this, I think it is only a matter of time before somebody gets killed. The only way this is going to stop is, is if Just Stop Oil frankly grow up and realise that they are putting people's lives at risk. Doesn't he have a point that you need to grow up before someone gets killed? Because you're making your point, you can make your point in other ways. So the way I see it, we're completely addicted to fossil fuels. Have you ever tried to ask oh someone to stop God. smoking? Yes, look, I yeah. know. So I've asked you, my dad to stop no. smoking and that's because I loved him, yes? Well, yeah, and he yeah. was told that if he keeps smoking, he's going to get cancer. Yes. And, what, and the scientists will tell him, you know, he's going to get cancer. But, but, but it's not very pleasant. But you didn't get him to stop by stealing his car keys, you idiot. Like, oh, she's infuriating. This can't be the best they've got. She's a moron. That if he keeps smoking, he's going to get cancer. 
Yes. And what? And the scientists will tell him, you know, he's going to get cancer. But, but, but it's not very pleasant process. No, one second, one no, second. Could I, 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 could I just finish? No, because you're asking to, me about the disruption. You to, and I, I'm accepting the that... The you're causing. Yeah, I'm accepting that it isn't pleasant. And I'm accepting that we feel empathy for all of those people out there. You, but what we're trying to do is no, to get everyone to come together, to get our government to stop licensing new oil and gas in order to save life. But there are ways of doing it that can this, avoid this, tens of thousands of people having their lives just completely Just weeks ago, disrupted. a third of Pakistan was underwater. The rains have failed in Somalia for the fifth year in a row, meaning mothers... No one is denying any of this stuff. It's like she, This is what she's not getting. It's like, it, it's, it's like that justifies what you're doing. It's like at all costs, but you're not... You don't understand the process of how that works. Of the power, the people do have the power, right? But you are not doing anything that is going to summon the power of the people. You're just pushing them away and pissing them off. So you've fallen at the first hurdle. It's like, okay, what do we do? I'm just one person, right? We need some people. But you failed already. Like, we get it. There's crazy stuff happening all over the world that is climate related. We get it. We are talking about your methods. And that is what she doesn't seem to be able to kind of grasp. It's like, yeah, yeah, but this is happening here. Yeah, yeah, but this is, and it's all very serious. And people are going to die. Yeah, like, we get it. But you are at the point now where you need to recruit people to generate the power, the people power needed to actually get something done. Right? And they've just fallen at the first hurdle. Their life just weeks ago, disrupted. a third of Pakistan was underwater. The rains have failed in Somalia for the fifth year in a row, meaning mothers cannot feed their yes, children. Yes, we know that, and we covered that. We had correspondence out there. There is a COP27 conference. You may have been covering it, but the media has My failed to make political failed change. Hang on, we've got... Politics has failed us. I'm 28. This is the 27th COP conference. So, and what has happened every single year, the emissions have risen so and risen and risen. If you were doing your job properly, everyone yeah. would be out on so, the streets. So, so we have Calm a down, love. So we and have I really a... want you to understand. No, do you I know do how grave the situation is? I do understand. And, and do but you I'm have talking... children? I've got children. I and do, do you love those children? Indigo, please, I understand the point you're making. You are here today to justify the tactics. You're effectively Do you love those listen, children more than you love fossil fuels? You are fuels. committing oh my a crime. God. Why should That's what we're minutes. asking you to Answer do. We're minutes. asking you to side with young people uh, who, who are asking our government very politely, in line with the UN, saying that we okay. need to come off fossil okay. fuels okay. That's with, one point. with the knowledge that we're going okay. to go over 1.5 degrees and this will undermine the okay. rule Indigo. of law. Indigo. We're asking people... Stop shouting at me, Indigo. ...to just... Look, you are breaking the law. Your protests are law-breaking. Why should you be allowed to interfere with the rights of ordinary, law-abiding people going about their daily no. business? That's yes. the question okay, so I'm let's, asking. Okay, let's, so let's, let's, me and you, we can come together, we'll put a referendum up and it'll say, would you like to destroy much of life on Earth, including everything you know and love, or... Would you like to not? Would you like your government to insulate your house, give you an affordable public transport system, tax the polluters who are making money off people who are starving and cold okay. and hungry in their homes this okay. winter? Yes, but how do you get that to happen? You haven't got there yet. You don't have the manpower to demand that that happens. That's what she's not realising. It's like, we get it, but how are you going to do that? How, how is blocking the M25 and inconveniencing it a, a whole bunch of people gonna make that happen. It's like they don't have the collective intelligence to figure out a real strategy for how that is gonna happen. They're just like a toddler who cries and acts out when they want some attention. It's like, oh, that doesn't really know what they want. They don't really have a coherent answer for anything. It's like, yeah, but all this bad stuff's happening. It's like a toddler that is hungry or, or, or something, but doesn't, not even a toddler, like a baby that thinks they're hungry and doesn't really know how to communicate that. It's like, well, I'm just gonna act out and piss a load of people off, make enough noise that someone notices me. What then? It's ridiculous. Insulate your house, give you an affordable public transport system, tax the polluters who are making money off people who are starving and cold okay. and hungry in their homes this okay. winter. 
do you want, what do you want to do? So why, it's why, why destroy you, everything we know and love. Why are you at COP27 making this point? Why are you at COP27? That is the destroy forum everything you know and to love, make this point. Or not. There are more oil lobbyists at COP27 than there are people like you. Why aren't you there making your point? Yeah, and, and, and back to this idea. Isn't that disgusting? Answer why the question. You... Imagine that. Think about my dad you... when he was smoking. Imagine if the cancer research invited Benson and Hedges oh my God. into their, you know, into their <laughs> debate he... on what they're going to do this. about answer lung cancer. Answer me this, uh, Indigo. Answer me this. Answer what anything. God, she... It's disgusting. Well, I'm just, I haven't asked the question yet. Uh, answer me this. What do you achieve by attacking things people hold dear? This is one of the worst interviews I've ever seen. Like on par with Kathy Newman and Jordan Peterson. What is she on? It's worse. It's she is who decided to put her on? She's an idiot. Dear. Things people hold dear. Yeah. Like so, works of art. Yeah. Like statues. Mm. What do you achieve by that? Honestly. Yeah, you've asked me a very reasonable question. What do yeah. you achieve by that? So we've been disrupting the art galleries. We've been disrupting Why? football matches. We've been disrupting the M25. And we're saying the media is not doing their job properly and they're not telling you the truth about what's coming down the line. Listen, the government are not program. acting. This is so a news we program. need people to and come we're, together, to cover the face up to the that truth, record, no. that we're going to pass over this threshold of 1.5 degrees of warming. We're going to plummet. She doesn't answer a damn thing. She just doesn't get it. What does it achieve? Unless we she's, so she's full of rhetoric. She's just full of. She's full of random facts and and just yeah, almost script. The script of these idiots, and it's like you don't you don't actually like that's all you know how to repeat. You've got these bits of information, and that's all you know how to repeat. But when you actually have to put a coherent answer together and talk about strategy and the actual effects that your actions are having, and is it working? Is it not working? What could work better? She hasn't got it. All she's got is a head full of bollocks. Pass over this threshold of 1.5 degrees of warming. We're going to plummet towards total India. destruction. India, we have we have climate programs. So go on climate now, programs and talk and about that. Go to COP27 and talk about that. She's but weird. There are people across this country who She's are fed up weird. with having their lives disrupted by your people. And if you want to talk about what Just Stop Oil is, what is Just Stop Oil? Do you, Just Stop Oil. What now? When? Oh, How soon do you want to just yeah, stop oil? That's a really good question. Because so, the economy, it seems to me, and I'm sure you'll agree, is driven. Economies around the world are driven by oil. So when do you want to we, stop We will oil? agree there are more things that are important than the economy, won't we? Would you agree then? Uh, is, is, could I just tell you because it was a good question? Is carbon neutral by 2050 yeah. enough for you? So the, 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 let me explain, let me explain the demand because I think you'll find it very, very reasonable. All we are doing, in, in order to stop the disruption, the government would have to say, we're going to stop issuing the 130 new licences for drilling in the North Sea, and we're going to say no to the pending coal mine decision. But you've and, said and we've got you said seven it. years so of answer, reserves. So my question some to you then say five, is why do you have to go and seven. hang off gantries above the busiest motorway in Britain You've said it. I mean, the other thing you said... Let's get Rishi should, Sunak in here and say, you've thing. got rid of some Here's of Truss's thing. toxic legacy. You One second. You, he, you, 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 you put it, he, put it, he put fracking Shut away. Shut up. And he said, oh, what a silly idea. She's brought in this new fracking. Well, yeah. now he needs to say, I have an opportunity here Here's to go thing. to the COP conference and say, Britain is going to lead the way. Indigo. We're going to stop right. drilling for new Indigo, oil and you gas. You said in a newspaper the other day, in order to protect your freedom, your mm -hmm. rights... And all that you love, will you stand with us? Now, it seems to me that what you're doing on these motorways and what you're doing um, to cause the police no end of problem and what you're doing in risking your lives as well as people's lives on the motorway, people are not going to come and stand with you. People, how do you expect people to come and stand right, with you? there we go. If you are disrupting their lives to this extent, it doesn't take this to get your message across. OK, so... Um... If it wasn't for women like the suffragettes, I wouldn't have a vote. I couldn't own anything, I don't think. I, all, every right and liberty that we have, about? your working rights, my rights to vote as a women, woman, they have been fought for. They weren't just handed down by people. Yeah, but it's how you fight for it. 
It's how you fight for it. That's the thing. You need to get the message through to an inconvenience and have an effect on the people who actually have some power to do something about it. The, even the people, we only have the power to, you know, make more noise and put the message forward, but we don't have the power to actually do something about it. You know, if you want to do something, try and promote something where people don't use their cars on a Monday or something like that. You know, actually, and, and, and not, no one buys fuel on Monday. No one uses it because you cannot buy fuel for it. Everyone could not buy for fuel for a day and still use their cars. The point is reduce the use. That would have an effect on oil companies, you know, because they'd be missing out on profit. If you're not using your car, you're not going to need to fill that amount up that you used. You say to people, don't buy petrol on a certain day of the week, then you know, that's not, that doesn't really matter. Because if you still keep using your car, you're still going to need to fill it up at some point. Whereas if you don't use your car, do you get see what I'm getting at? That would have more an, of an effect. But this is just ridiculous. It's not doing anything. For, down from those with power, they were fought for. And every single one of those liberties that is at risk because of the climate crisis. Okay. Indigo, run below. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you very Thank you. much. Thank you. Unbelievable. Welcome to the Afterthought. That was unbelievable. I'm absolutely gobsmacked by what an awful interview that was and how ill-equipped she was to discuss the point. She completely failed to come up with any decent, coherent answer to anything that he asked, to stick to the point, nothing. I mean, it was about as much use as their actual protests. It got nothing done. It didn't create any clarity, no decent conversation. It was an absolute wasted opportunity. And I honestly, I despair at this point. They're a bunch of morons. They really are. But let me know what you guys thought in the comments. It's always fun to hear what you guys have got to say. I hope you enjoyed it. And as always, be kind to yourselves, love everybody, and take care. I freaking love you guys. Music